And this is total bedlam. We just learned hackers have basically gotten everybody's social security number. Hmm. Like this is, this is a wild story. And this is not getting enough ink. I think it's not getting enough ink because, well, it kind of reflects rather badly, maybe, just maybe, on the Harris-Biden administration. I don't know. I mean, maybe people aren't interested. I'm kind of interested. I mean, this is kind of terrifying, right? They apparently got a lot of Social Security numbers. Everybody's Social Security number. Gee, what was it, like, billion? Because apparently they, they got everybody who, like, may have ever lived Social Security number. So the statistics are really pretty wild as you look at some of these stories. This one coming to us from the L.A. Times. But sensitive data, sensitive data. They got addresses, they got phone numbers, they got dates of birth, social security numbers, all of it. And apparently this information was up for sale on the dark web. Drew, thanks for helping me out. 2.9 billion records are saying that they got. I mean, that's pretty darn wild. And so now there's a class action lawsuit against this company, Jericho Pictures, which is a background check and fraud prevention company that does business as national public data, a cyber criminal group that calls itself USDOD, uploaded a large database titled National Public Data to a dark web forum. Oh, goodness. They put it up for sale for a paltry $3.5 million. Guys, I think you could have probably charged a little more. Anyway, they're, they're going to be in probably a lot of trouble because now this is national news. It is a big story. People are alarmed about it. I mean, obviously, you know, you got to safeguard your social security number, make sure that you, you know, if you're at risk, it sounds like we're all at risk. Everybody's at risk. So you got to make sure that you, you button down the hatches in terms of credit, et cetera. Um, and, and, and there's apparently some websites you can go to, to figure out if your social security number has been leaked. I think it's probably safe to say, like everybody got swept up in this one. And so it's, it's pretty concerning. Look, there's just so much that they can get at nowadays. And, and, you know, the world's changing. It's changing really, really fast. So that's an alarming story. I don't think that reflects really well on the administration. The administration who's had, frankly, a lot of security lapses. And now we get word that Iran is allegedly hacking into the presidential campaigns. Listen, like, who's on first, right? Like, shouldn't we be like light years ahead of everyone else? How is it that you're allowing all of these social security numbers to get out there? How are you allowing campaigns to get hacked into? How did you allow a kid to smuggle in a weapon and nearly kill the former president of the United States who's topping the GOP ticket? I mean, at some point you start to say, we need better accountability. And I'll leave it there because I know a lot of people think a lot of things about that. And I think we need to wait and see and get all the information. But listen, I mean, those people didn't do their jobs. They just didn't do their jobs. I want to know why. I want to know why Donald Trump didn't have more people there. Why were they giving them all to Dr. Jill so she could go do some dinner? He's out there in the open air with tens of thousands of people. My gosh. I mean, and this is not partisan. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Kamala deserves the same. You know what? They all deserve the proper protection because if they had taken it, I mean, think about what that would have meant. Scary, really, really scary.